guys in the fast lane here and today I'm going to be explaining to you how to properly index and gap your spark plugs. Now the first thing you want to do when you're going to gap your spark plugs is you're going to get the uh, taper tool or a, um, a feeler gauge. You can use that also. And you're going to stick it in between the gap of the spark plug and push up just a little bit until you get the right measurement or the right thousandths of an inch. Now once you've gone ahead and gapped your spark plug, you're going to also go ahead and mark your spark plug where the opening gap is on the spark plug and on the socket that goes over the spark plug so you'll know which way the spark plug is turning inside the uh, spark plug hole. Now where you want that gap on the spark plug is you want that towards the intake or the fuel injector because where the fuel sprays in, you want the fuel to go in front of the gap and go along the sides of it. Shown in this demonstration right here with the green part being the intake and the spark plug in the middle and where the intake is, that's where the fuel is coming from. So when you put the spark plug inside the hole, you're going to go ahead and mark the socket and turn it until you get the line on the socket that you drew with a sharpie towards the intake or the fuel injector. And that's how you properly index your spark plug. Also, one more quick tip. If you're having a problem turning your spark plug all the way in a 360 degree to get towards your mark that you need to get to on the intake side in the fuel injector, then you're gonna to wanna to purchase spacers. And you can see it right here in this demonstration, the spacers that you can pick up at an auto parts store or something like that to get the right amount of turn on your spark plug so you line it up with the intake. Well, if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.